السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اوور تھرٹی ورسز آف دا ہولی قرآن میک اے کلیئر دا حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام ہیز ڈائڈ اینڈ ول نیور ریٹرن آف دیز ورسز از چیپٹر فائیو ورس سیونٹی سکس آف دا ہولی قرآن اللہ دی امائی اسٹیٹس مل مسیح بن مریم الا رسول قد خلت من قبله الرسل و امہ صدیق کانا یأکلان الطعام انظر کیف نبین لہم الآیات ثم انظر انا یؤفکون The Messiah son of Mary was only a messenger. Surely messengers like unto him had indeed passed away before him, and his mother was a truthful woman. They both used to eat food. See how we explain the signs for their good, and see how they are turned away. The non-Ahmadi Muslims also quote this verse to prove Hazrat Isa a.s. was not immortal. I mean, look, think of just this. Jesus is 100% man and 100% God. But what it means to be man is 100% different to what it means to be God. That is a contradiction. I mean, I don't even think you need to go further than that. That's why the Quranic arguments are so beautiful. When it says, Kana yakulani ta'am. They used to both eat food. In other words, they're mortal. You can't be mortal and immortal at the same time. This verse explicitly proves the death of Hazrat Isa a.s. Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmed a.s. states, In this verse, Allah the Exalted refutes the divinity of Hazrat Isa a.s. and says that all messengers before him have died. To think, despite this fact that the Messiah is sitting alive in the heaven, is a fallacy. How can this argument be used to prove his divinity when the argument itself is false? For the truth is that death did not spare anyone and they all died. The second argument for him being a human is that he had a mother of whom he was born, while God has no mother. The third argument for him being a human is that when he and his mother were alive, they both used to eat food. Whereas God is in no need of food, that is, food restores the body as it wastes away, while God is free from the attribute of wasting away, but the Messiah continued to consume food. Thus, if he is God, then does the body of God too continue to waste away? The promised Messiah Islam, continues, but alas for the people who having raised Hazrat Isa Islam, to the heavens believe that his body does not possess this trait, that like all human beings the process of disillusion should continue in him and believe that his body would have remained safe from annihilation even without obtaining the replacement for the disillusion through food. They wish to break thereby the argument given by God and the reasoning put forth in the above mentioned verse. God on the other hand gives the argument to prove that Hazrat Isa was human, namely that like other human beings he too was dependent on food without which his body could not have sustained itself and that it required replacement for what was being consumed. The people who raise Hazrat Isa to the heavens with his elemental body hold the belief that his body can continue to exist without food and in this manner they present an argument for the divinity of Hazrat Isa salam, in contradiction to Almighty Allah's purport. When the non-Ahmadi Muslims are unable to respond to this argument, they try to say that Hazrat Isa salam, does not need food in the heavens, but they forget that they believe that Hazrat Isa salam, is not only alive in the heavens, but is alive with his physical body. And regarding physical bodies, Allah the Almighty states that they cannot remain except with food. Allah the Almighty states وَمَا جَعَلْنَاهُمْ جَسَدًا لَا يَأْكُلُونَ الطَّعَامَ وَمَا كَانُوا خَالِدِينَ Meaning, and we did not give them bodies that ate no food. 
nor were they to live forever. This makes it explicitly clear that Hazrat Isa has died and will never return because in chapter 5 verse 76 it says that him and his mother used to eat food meaning they both no longer eat food but to remain alive one needs food. Secondly, Allah the Almighty put Hazrat Isa and his mother in the same category, meaning they both used to eat food and no longer eat food. If you want to say that Hazrat Isa is physically alive in the heavens, then you have to also believe the same for his mother, Hazrat Maryam. The fact that the Quran shows us that Hazrat Isa and his mother used to eat food in the past tense also shows us that at some point they used to eat food but now they are no longer eating. Now if Hazrat Isa was still alive in the heavens, Allah would have said that him and his mother used to eat food and they are still eating food and shall continue to eat food until the descent of Hazrat Isa of Bani Israel. When we quote these verses together, the non ahmadi Muslims have no response. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every Every new video. Also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs>